Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel now. Today I'm here to be talking about Throne and Liberty. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I believe that um, global, the global beta at least, may be sooner than we first thought. Um, but before I get into that and, and explain the reasons why I possibly think this might be happening, please consider subscribing to the channel. I am this close to hitting 1,000 subscribers. I'm, I'm so, you know overwhelmed I'm, I'm excited i'm happy um you know it, it's just the beginning of the channel but i just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has liked shared and subscribed up until now and if you're interested in throwing a liberty but also other upcoming mmorpgs um i do also cover action rpgs as well so yeah like share and subscribe but let's get into this one so basically i've been away for a week it, for, for those of you that may or may have wondered where was my uh, patch notes video because I always without fail normally always cover the patch notes um, but because obviously I'm a bit late now the TLDR is we had a huge on March the 13th as you can see here we had an absolutely huge banger of a patch once again um, this is how long it is so yeah a very 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 long very 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 large patch um, the reason for the patch as well, they were celebrating 100 days since Throne and Liberty has been um, out in Korea. Now, again, it, just in case you guys and girls, you know, are maybe you've been busy and you haven't been keeping up, you know, up to date with the patch notes. Um, the TLDR of the update was main focus, PVE, huge PVE changes. You can see here, we have a brand new dungeon here called the Island of Fear. It's a two star dungeon. It has brand new um, uh, gear, new gear sets in here. Um, I haven't actually been able to try it myself because like I said, I've been away um, due to some IRL personal stuff, but I'm back now. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get my hands on the dungeon, see if I can get in there. There's also challenge mode. Um, and also there has been a new um, ability added. Now I did sort of cover this before because they did mention this in the um, developers live stream, the, the most recent one. So if you want to, you know, a, a more of a breakdown, uh, go and check out my previous video with, of the um, developers live stream. But anyway, huge news there, big patch, big PVE changes, more polishing. The game actually, because I've been catching a few people's streams and the game, they've tweaked something with the game. The graphics of the game looks more crispy. They've changed the nameplates. It looks like more polishing, final polishing touches. This could be the global patch um, because, uh, you know, we, we, we're getting closer and I'm going to show you why. If I head over to um, Steam database. Now, obviously, this is just my thoughts. This is just my theories. This, this could mean nothing. Um, but it does show us that they are actually, of course, you know, working on the game over on the global version. Um, because three days ago, Throne and Liberty has been updated again in Steam Database. You know, minor changes here. They added a screenshot. They changed the store asset uh, modification. They've changed some tags. So that's fine. But Throne and Liberty technical test has been also updated from two days ago. Um, so sorry, no, three days ago was the major update. So you can see here, where was it? Added name, Throne and Liberty technical test. Changed release date to unavailable because obviously it's not released. Um, but interesting here, they have now got, we can see the file sizes. So you can see here, 50.2, um, 52 gig. Then they, add, they added an extra gig, so it's 53 gig. And then over here, there's another 48.43 gigabytes. And then they also added another 500 megabytes. Now, obviously, I don't know what any of this means, um, but that's not that that doesn't matter. The, the, the reason for me, you know, finding this interesting and saying to you guys and girls that maybe the beta is coming sooner than we think is because of all of these sudden changes on the... Um, you know, on the Steam database. So something's being worked on. And also just to add that we do have um, PAX East coming up. And also, I actually forgot to show you guys and girls here. I, I, I forgot to get this one. We have um, GDC here. 
So we have the Games Developer Conference. So we have PAX East, which is March the 21st to the 24th. Now, one thing to note is Amazon Game Studios is not going to be here. Um, I tried to see if NC Soft is going to be there, and it, it looks like they're not going to be there. But it doesn't mean that we might not get. We might see a trailer here at PAX East, or this is very interesting. We also have the Future Game Show, and it just happens to be uh, next week as well. So free events, free game events happening at the same time. Now, if you cast your eyes to here, NC Soft are definitely going to be present at the future game show. So does that mean they're going to be showcasing one of their other games? Or does it mean they're going to be showcasing Throne and Liberty Global? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But I don't understand if they don't... In, these, in, in one of these free game events, right? If they don't mention Throne and Liberty at either PAX East, like whether it's a trailer or at the Future Games show or at GDC, because Amazon's uh, Amazon Game Studios is going to be at the GDC and they're going to be having a Q&A session here as well. Now, of course, AGS might just be talking about New World. That is obviously feasible. But another little thing here as well, this is obviously just you know hopium copium but over at ags there's been a lot of changes with new world now when i say changes i mean delays because the brand new season five which should have been out uh about five days ago that has been delayed due to they're saying they need to fix some stuff which is fine whatever but originally they were going to have huge news in may that has now also been pushed back so now they're saying the huge news for um, New World isn't going to be happening until June. And then over on Discord, they have announced recently that um, New World is no longer, well, not no longer, but New World is not going to have a expansion this year. So if you want to like theorize with me here, they're delaying the, the big news, the big brand new roadmap, the big update, the big information to June. So could that be, and also there's not going to be an expansion this year. So could that mean that we're going to be getting a global beta test at the end of this month? So the end of March slash beginning of April. This is again all theory. And then does that mean that we'll possibly get the full release of Throne Liberty over in the West um, between the end of April and the end of May? Because then if they, that sound that sounds to me like the smart thing to do. End of April to J June is the latest, I would say, to release this game globally. If they wait any longer than June, they might as well just wait till the end of the year. Um, but it just seems like from all of these little changes, all of the polishing, obviously, on the Korean version. Um, I, don't, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. What, what do you think? Obviously, I don't have any concrete evidence of course this is just a video for discussion this is just to chat to you guys and girls let you know about there's been a huge update over there in korea um and just to give you my you know my my, my the, the little the little cogwheels in my brain are, are are working you know but yeah so yeah if you didn't know like i said pax east future game show and gdc is all happening basically within the next week loads of um, trailers and information hopefully is going to be there fingers crossed we're going to get some sort of information about throwing liberty globally um, but yeah that's what I wanted to say I just wanted to um, touch base with you guys and girls because like I said I've been away for a while now um, and I just wanted to bring this information to you but yeah what do you think leave me a comment down below I know a lot of you are going to say the hype train for you has gone it's left the building it's gone it's see you later you're not interested but just what would you say if I am correct? If we do get a global beta at the end of this month and we do get the full release between April and June, what would you say then? But yeah, leave me a comment down below. And like I said, like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you soon. Peace.